Foldable phones are something fancy, aren't they? A lot of people have said that 2022 is the year when foldable phones will finally become one of the most popular mobile form factors. So out of this, which one will be the best? One of the most interesting answers to this question is about the Oppo Find N. Yes, there is a huge reason why this might be your first foldable phone. Hey guys, welcome once again to Inzu Tech, where we bring you the fresh and best updates from the tech world. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for the latest updates. So let's hop on! In today's episode, we will be looking into the 5 reasons why the Oppo Find N is the best folding phone. Of course, there are currently a few folding devices on the market like the Xiaomi Mix Fold, the Samsung Fold series, and the Flip series. However, none of them spark a widespread debate regarding the new form factor. Basically, their excessive cost would deter most consumers right away. Well, that's completely natural for consumers to move that way, so the device has to be quite affordable. You might know that the Oppo Find N was released at the end of 2021 at a significantly lower price and with a quite unusual design. The cost is the first step in making foldable, accessible, and generating interest among ordinary consumers in learning more about this unusual form factor. And now that foldable phones are getting more inexpensive, let's get to the big question. What can you do with a foldable phone in 2022? The second reason, apart from the affordability of the device, is its display. First and foremost, if you're looking for a foldable phone, it's generally because you want a larger screen in your pocket, which means it should be comfortable to handle at the same time and compact enough to carry. The Find N has a 7.1-inch internal Samsung E5 AMOLED display with a refresh rate of 120Hz. The near-square ratio is the most debated aspect of the display. Obviously, it's not ideal for watching movies or 16 is to 9 videos. However, when we initially opened the phone, the display was just amazing. Although it is not the ideal size for amusement, anyone would appreciate the comfortable size that easily covers your vision and concentrate on everyday usage. On ordinary phones, for example, your eyes might automatically sweep up and down and your concentration would only be on the center frame, which spans 50-70% to of the entire display. While the 7.1-inch screen is not physically larger, the unusual ratio of 8.4 to 9 may allow you to see more while remaining focused. Furthermore, the phone provides a very comfortable viewing experience for various activities such as reading or web surfing. The phone is, in fact, a terrific pocketbook, especially for reading, and the reading app is a pleasant surprise that provides an immersive reading experience with tactile effects and depth. And while watching movies in a 21 is to 9 ratio isn't ideal, it's nearly excellent for most old stuff played in a 4 is to 3 ratio. Why don't we keep all that aside and look into other aspects, huh? What about its user interface? Aside from all the other features, Oppo has created a lot of new software additions to better support the one-of-a-kind phone, such as extra gestures and an easier mini-window mode. You may simply divide a screen for dual app content, for example, by swiping down two fingers or dragging one app from the sidebar. Aside from that, the new folding shape has a lot more potential. We suppose some are even overlooked by the makers, therefore, it will be up to users and app developers to investigate additional find and possibilities. For example, we've seen it made into a classic portable game that we used to play at least 15 years ago. You shouldn't be concerned about the screen transitions as well. The transition between the two screens is rather seamless. When you flip the phone, the viewing material instantaneously switches to the other display. To use it, simply swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Coming to performance, the Snapdragon 888 processor powers the Find N. Indeed, many of you have probably heard a lot about this chipset. The heating issue on this model is not as severe as it is on most normal 888 chipset phones. However, the CPU technique is clearly conservative. Apart from that, Oppo's foldable phone will not disappoint you in terms of photographic features. The phone has a total of 5 cameras, including a triple camera arrangement at the back and twin 32 megapixel front facing cameras. A 50 megapixel primary IMX 766 sensor with optical image stabilization, a 16 megapixel wide angle camera, and another 13 megapixel 2x telephoto camera comprise the triple cameras. The 50 megapixel primary camera captures great detail and has a good dynamic range. 
Furthermore, the white balance is good and steady under most lighting settings, resulting in a pretty realistic tone for the samples. The dynamic range of the 16 megapixel wide angle camera is not as remarkable as that of the primary camera, but it is still capable of capturing clear photos with high purity. However, the edge picture is not as clean and crisp as the center image. We believe that the 13 megapixel 2x sensor is far more practical and often utilized than the 3x or 5x telephoto cameras. It has a quite close view range to what humans see and the 13 megapixel resolution produces superb detail. Without a doubt, the telephoto camera surpassed many consumers' expectations. All three cameras have been properly tuned for low-light photography, thanks to Oppo's image software. We can observe that the night mode is less noisy while retaining significantly more detail, particularly for the brightness. And can you guess what the most interesting fun fact is? The most surprising aspect of shooting with a foldable shape is video recording. We may divide the display into a view monitor and an operating center thanks to the freestanding hinge. We may also use it as a tripod for time-lapse recording by placing it on a flat surface. Finally, when looking at the battery, this has to be one of the most awaited parts. Adding a larger foldable display is definitely not a benefit for its battery life. Even though they've equipped a 4500 mAh battery with support for 33 watt wired fast charging, it performs not too badly in battery and charging tests. At least it's estimated to last for the entire day, works without playing games a lot. The Oppo Find N is probably one of the most impressive foldable models on the market, but more importantly, there's no longer the feeling that the phone looks like a toy. Instead, it works like a regular phone without any discomfort. It truly brings the feeling that we can finally get used to a horizontally foldable phone, which has never happened with previous foldable phones. We believe most users will come to the same conclusion. So now that we've discussed the five critical characteristics of the Oppo Find N, let's have a look at the gadget as a whole. It's a great smartphone when compared to the spectrum of folding phones. We will no longer just walk away. For the last several years, the Samsung Galaxy Fold series has gone unrivaled in India, and we just witnessed Samsung really pick up its game with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. But the cost appears to be rather tough. But is the Galaxy Fold worth all of this money? Let's find out in the next episode. So coming back to where we started, what do you guys think about the Oppo Find N? Would you be getting one for yourself? And if you are, which out of these five aspects of the phone did you find attractive? Drop your opinions in the comments section below. So as we near the end of the video, how do you find today's episode? In any case, please leave your opinions about the video in the comments section below. This isn't the end of the story. More exciting stuff will be released in the following days and we will bring you the best of it here at Inzu Tech. That's all we have for you today. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Enable post notifications while you're at it so you don't miss any of our future uploads. That's all we got for you now. We hope you enjoyed watching the video and we'll meet up again at the next one.